the good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. 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 Good May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endured the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointment time for everything and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to be far from embrace. Bracelets. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of man to be fused about, to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from the beginning to the end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you notice him, the son of man that you take thought of, of him? Man is like a breath. He and like his days, he's like a casting shadow. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be 
rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You will hear that a lot in the gospel. Jesus was praying. He was praying. Why? Why is he praying? Because he said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. I am the Son of Man. And he can do whatever he wants to do. He has power over everything. And why is he doing that? He praying, praying, keep praying all the time. That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Why Jesus was all the time praying? Why? And when you ask that question and you reflect on the question, you will receive the response of that question. He was not praying because he needs something. No. Jesus Christ was not praying because he's in need. No. But for two reasons. The first one is to show his disciples that they have to pray. And the second one is showing them that he's always connected to his Father. Always to And today we are his disciples. The first thing that we have to have in our mind is I have to be connected to God. Kingdom of God. And the way you can be, you know, to get connected to God is to pray all the time. If you, you, you find yourself being lazy about prayer, so wake up, stand up. Because when you are getting weak in prayer, the evil one can take over. Be sure of that. He will take over. Most of the time, that what happens to us it's, it's like a, we realize that we, to, to pray is now tough for me. I cannot pray. When I want to pray, I fall asleep, things like that. Wake up. He's there at your door. We have to pray all the time. Because the enemy is right there waiting for you to get weak. Spiritual. And then he will cut, he will cut, you know, the link between you and God. And once he got there, you're gone. And that's very really important. When you wake up in the morning, pray. During the day, pray. Before going to bed, pray. That's the way we can be connected to God. But if you are so busy that you cannot pray, that means that you are not on the right path. That's the very thing we can say about the people. So we need to pray all the time. The way Jesus Christ did it. To pray all the time. Let us present our petitions to our Heavenly Father for offenses, bishops, priests, 
deacons and all religious workers. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide them so that they can lead the church with wisdom and strong faith for the salvation of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from mental illness, any type of physical and mental abuse, especially our teen, we pray that they receive the help that they need and the guidance from God, and that the violence in our streets will cease and we find love and peace, and the hatred in the hearts of those who contend to want to harm others, that they find love, and that we find a way to get rid of the guns that are destroying our families, killing our teens, and bringing darkness to our families. And we want to pray for the soul of God in Christ to be buried on our bed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for my sick family members here, and that my sick sickness family, and especially for uh, Carolyn and uh, Nicole, uh, our deacon, Miss Amanda, and uh, uh, um, Drew's sister, and for anybody else that needs a prayer. I'm also praying for all of us as we go about our day that God will guide us in our decision making. And for anybody that doesn't have faith, love, and God in their lives, and basic necessities, God will provide for them. I pray to the Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of your glory, fruit of the earth, and work of mankind, to be become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine of your glory, fruit of the vine, and work of mankind, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and the glory of his name, for our good for the love of all his holy church. O oh God, who endeavored to extend vision, to imitate the word that you celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her. By the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending them your spirit upon them that is you for us, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he turned willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be your presence and minister unto you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all, all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and with him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior from the Father by the Mighty Chief, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, What peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sound of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let them thank the Lord for His mercy, His wonders for His children of men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry be filled with the great things. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that, just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example, to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, 
so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This message may be go in peace. Thanks be to God.